What if I told you there is some secret Fortnite game use settings changes that you can change on your PC to get the double FPS or performance in Fortnite with your any PC or laptop in 2025. Just to have to change these simple settings and right away you can get insane FPS boost on your PC. First step you have to head over to your Windows search and search for clean and open up this disk cleanup system tool on your PC. Before applying these changes in your Fortnite game use settings you have to clean the temporary file and all the directx shaders so for that you have to go for this device select out here your c drive and hit ok once you go out here this kind of the window now you have to check mark on this option that is the directx shader cache then go for delete optimization also check mark on this box now you have to scroll down and go for temporary file now click on this ok button and delete all this junk file from your pc because this is causing the fps drops low fps and stutters in your fortnite now in the next step i'm gonna show you two simple methods that you can use on your pc for changing these game use settings first one is drag and drop that you can simply do with using these files and the second one is manual method so guys let's talk about the first method that you can do from the drag and drop of this file so guys in the very first step you have to download these files on your pc link in the description simply go there and download these files on your pc once you download the best game use settings pack, you have to go for your window search and search for run and hit enter. Now you have to go for this run window and simply search for the app data and click OK. Now you have to go for this local folder, then go for Fortnite game folder, saved, config, Windows client and here you will find out your Fortnite game use settings .ina file where we need to make the changes. So guys for the first drag and drop method you have to open up the folder. And inside you will find out these profiles that is for the high end PCs, low end PC and mad end PC. You can simply ask me in the command by mentioning your PC specs and ask me which resolution is best for you. And I will tell you some best resolution. So guys, by simple you have to choose the resolution or your PC specs. So for example, if you have a low end PC, so you have to go for this low end folder and go for the resolution that you need. The lowest resolution will give you higher FPS, but guys the blurry visuals. And the higher resolution will give you lower fps but clear visuals so guys you have to choose it according to your needs so i'm personally going with the 800 by 600 that is best for the low-end pc users so you have to go for this folder simply right click here and copy this file from here once you have copied now you have to go for this directory that you have opened before simply right click here and click on the paste button and now simply replace the file in the destination but guys i have already optimized this game use settings according to my pc specs so therefore i'm showing you how you can manually do it on your pc so guys if you want to do it simply so guys you can simply drag and drop this file inside this folder but now i'm not doing it so guys click on this close button now you have to go for this game use settings.ina file and we are going to do the settings manually so you have to right click here go for show more option and go for this edit button once you go out here this kind of the window now you have to head over to the simple settings that you need to apply on your pc so the first setting that you need to guys disable inside the game use settings that is the motion blur setting so guys here we go to motion blur settings so you have to set the settings onto the false by default it is onto the true now scroll down here you will find out b show grass guys i suggest you to set it onto the false simply go for it and set the settings onto the false for not loading any useless visuals inside your fortnite so you have to simply set the settings onto the false now in the next step you have to go for this option that is the stop rendering in background so guys make sure to set the settings onto the false next here we go to this latency tweak one latency tweak two so i have set it onto the false and i have set the latency tweak onto the two now once you have also followed these settings on your pc now you have to go for this option that is the b use nanite so you have to simply set the settings onto the false after doing it now here we go to the most important option that is the energy saving focus so you have to go for the settings simply go for it by default it is onto the true you have to set it onto the false and guys that's it now go for the next option that is the b is energy saving enable focus loop so you have to go for this option this is again by default onto the true you have to set them onto the false once you have changed these settings now you have to scroll down and find out the next settings that should be the most important settings of the game use settings so guys the first settings that we got here that is the most important that is the b use dynamic resolution so guys you have to set the settings onto the false for getting the stable fps while you're playing fortnite 
Now next here we got this resolution size X and resolution size Y. Now you can guys use here your preferred resolution. You can go with the stretch resolution or you can simply go with the native resolution of your monitor. But if you have a low end PC, so I suggest you to lower the resolution or lower the amount of 3D resolution for getting the higher and stable FPS. So for example, if you have a low end PC, so you can try 800 by 600 or 1024 by 768 on your Madden PCs. So once you have done the settings inside your Fortnite game you settings for the resolution size X, and resolution size why you have to go for the next step that is the stability group setting so guys scroll down and find out the group of the stability settings now you have to go for your resolution quality and guys the best settings i suggest you that is the best for the visual and for the fps that is around 85 to 90 percent so i suggest to change your settings onto the 85 for getting the better fps while you gaming inside fortnite now next have you got the visual distance so guys you have to go for it Make sure guys set all the settings onto the disable. So guys simply change these values from a 232 to 0. Therefore you can set all the settings onto the lower possible settings for getting the best results. But guys this will reduce your visuals or the effect while you're playing games. So therefore your game will not look so good. But guys it will give you more FPS, lower input delay and stable FPS in Fortnite with your low end PC. So once you have changed the settings, now you have to guys look for the settings also. And guys simply leave the settings because these have no impact on your PC performance. These are just chat settings. Now you have to guys go for this file option and click on the save button and save the settings on your PC. And guys also keep in mind, make sure to always use the performance mode while you're playing Fortnite because that will give you higher FPS and lower input delay. So guys, I hope so you love this optimization. Please make sure to let me know your opinion about this video in the comment below. And I will see you in the next video.